Hello guys, how are you? I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be doing a say it or shot it, as you probably guessed from the title. I always do that. The questions are as juicy as I would have hoped. I just had a quick look through now. Um, so it might be a, quite a short video today, I guess, because I think I'll be answering them mostly. But... Yeah. But because we've only just moved into our house, this is the shop situation. I'm going to have to use an egg cup. There's not much I can do about it, I'm afraid. A little Fanta lemon to keep me hydrated. I figured I would not drink at the same time as doing this game because I've already had a couple of cans of like these Smyrna Ice things tonight. <laughs> in your account right now um well it depends which one you're on about i have about 50 on my paypal because of a couple of things i've sold i have about 900 in my savings but i may have to use that for other bits because I've just been put on furlough so I don't know if I'm gonna end up having to use that and then whatever's left in my other account uh, doesn't really matter because it's all bill money anyway so I won't be seeing any of that um hardest pill you've ever had to swallow I think the only thing that I can think of is that people who you really don't think will do you over really will do you like that and that's just something that you've got to learn to be okay with and if you're not then your life will you'll never be happy really you've just got to know that like as long as you're there for yourself and don't rely too much on anybody else you'll be fine um, favourite sex position? Mm. Well, this is going to sound so cliche, but yeah. Uh, biggest strength, biggest weakness, and best strength. My biggest weakness is I probably have two because it depends on which way you're asking me it from. One of them which is like personal is um probably trusting people. I'm not sure. I feel like I probably trust people quite easy and then learn to regret it sometimes later on. Maybe, I don't know. That could be one. And then the other one in a, in like a different sense is teamwork. Like I would much rather be independent and get on with what I'm doing myself rather than having to rely on other people because cause you can never rely on other people. Well, not often and especially not like if you put into a team with like strangers. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd much, much rather be independent. Uh, best strength is probably confidence but that's only just come on like in the past couple of years so yeah um biggest fear biggest fear Probably, probably death. I can't, I know that sounds so boring, but I literally can't even think of another one like. Because I don't really have any big other ones, to be honest. Yeah, it's got to be death, just because like when I think about it, 
obviously well you can't think about it because it's just like emptiness you don't know what to think or feel and it's just like the feeling of the end which is just weird yeah it just cre it, it i don't know it's probably not a fear it just creeps me out like i get the shivers when i think of it because i'm just thinking like what is it and what could it be i'm probably just more intrigued oh, i don't uh, i'm strange um you can only pick one shannon or blaze <laughs> um i think i'm gonna have to shop this one because i don't think i can I don't think I could choose one, even though Blaze hasn't been in my life for long. He's still like, he's still the most innocent little thing ever. I mean, he's he is a little shitbag, but like they just trust us, don't they, pets? They trust us and they feel safe with us. And so I could never just like put him out if there was a decision ever, because he trusts me to not do that so yeah i'm gonna have to shop for that one i'm so sorry that i'm on the pussy shop however for those who know me and those who are like my friends or or maybe i mentioned it in videos before maybe on my instagram if you follow that one instead if you don't i'll leave the link on the screen please go follow me on instagram and tell your friends to come back and subscribe to me on here thank you um yeah for those that know me i don't drink anyway like i've only recently started drinking if i'm in my own home and if i'm staying in and i've not got work the next day and well i've not got anything to do the next day and if shannon hasn't got work the next day i can't even open it well that's just fate telling me not to drink isn't it really Um, so yeah I've only just started drinking recently only small bits as well like I had two Smirnoff mixer cans tonight and that was well and truly enough for me but look I'm here deciding to do this video now right cheers I just thought that I was doing the shot for no reason then but no yeah I did decide to pick no one okay I think that's the only shot I'll ever be able to handle like in my whole life try buy me a shot on a night out and I'll literally probably go home I'll probably walk out right moving on um favourite outfit you've ever worn? I have no clue. Literally no clue at all. Probably one of the most, most recent ones that I've My favourite is probably one of my most recent ones that I've posted but it's probably a casual one as well. I'm really not like a... I feel a lot more at ease when I'm dressed comfy even though I feel nice when I'm like going out outfits probably the purple tracksuit bottoms the white top with the purple victoria secret bag most hated person nobody i don't think i don't particularly like people but i don't hate anyone like i'm doing me that's all i have to say really to like the people who I didn't used to get on with or want the nicest like yeah and um, what's the most embarrassing memory from a night out uh, i mean i've always not been like a much of a heavy heavy drinker like i've never had a black like a blackout apart from once when i think i was spiked but yeah like i say i don't think that was due to how much i drank like some people go on a night out aiming to have a blackout 
and then not remember the night and then just end up home hopefully and honestly I don't know I don't know how you can do that but the most embarrassing thing I ever have done I, just, I don't know I'm not one of those crazy drunks I'm not an emotional drunk I just act the same I just I don't know I'm probably just a tad louder which you don't even need me to be I'm loud enough um so probably probably from the night that I was spiked I don't know like it wasn't even when I was out partying either that it, that we did some embarrassing basically I went and met Shannon after work and nearly ran through her work glass window because I was that excited to see her when I got to her and then I can't remember anything after that point but that was probably embarrassing for her more than it was for me um did you ever want to go on Love Island I don't think when like I started wanting to do influence and stuff Love Island wasn't a big thing it only got a big thing like the past two years and I've been with Shannon for like three and a half years now um so if I was single then yeah I probably would want to but because I'm not then it's never really crossed my mind and yeah that's it that's that really like if I really want to go on a reality show I'll just find something else but I'm not that bothered for reality TV I'd rather just stay in like the fashion and modeling side of things and try go up them levels instead do you rate Michael Jackson's dancing skills if I'm honest no I'm just not really a big fan of him I don't see the hype I'm afraid um have, we, have you ever fallen over in front of a crowd of people yep love that for me but yeah I really have um once I was walking to uni because um I work there I work there on like an occasional basis and I'm walking to uni for one of my shifts and the lights turned green for a car and I thought do you know what if I just go he was taking a while to set off I thought if I just go I'll make it literally set off to go across the road with this massive banner that I had to take to uni my bag and a box full of paper as well and the one time in like two years maybe three years like that I'd worn a skirt and never again I'll never do it again I tripped over right in the middle of the road well I ended up in the middle of the road I didn't trip in the middle of the road I tripped as soon as I stood off the curb and I ended up in the middle of the road and the car had to slam off <laughs> and some woman came running out into the road asking if I was okay and I was like yeah yeah and I'd cut all my knee up and there's still like a scar on it now and I had to go to uni and do my shift <laughs> do you have a manager you dislike in work and if so who i'm gonna say not really i don't really have one I'm just going to shop because that's easier to explain. Um, I can't remember if there was any more. Dream collab. Um, probably either. What have I got on now? Mm. I mean, I would love to do Gymshark, but um, I don't go to the gym enough anymore anyway, so it would be pretty pointless in a way. I'd absolutely love to do Gym King. Pretty little thing, obviously. I'm lucky enough to have had lounge twice already, which is so good. Like, I wouldn't have, I would have expected that lounge were the last people that would have ever collabed with me. I don't know why. Um, but they're so big nowadays it was quite a shock um, I would love to collab with Femilux they're literally the company that I buy most things from and also I'm really digging Motel Rocks lately 
like really digging them. If you haven't been on the website, absolutely go on the website because they don't just do like normal ordinary stuff that like pretty little thing and feminine looks do that like, you know, like I would say plain, but they're not plain. Like if you know you want something like, I don't know, a turtleneck, you'll just go, ah, PLT, I can get one of them off there. But if you go on Motel Rocks, I'll probably have like a really funky type of vintage, like rocky, I guess that's why it's called Motel Rocks. But absolutely love the vibe. They're just like a bit different, like a bit cool, a bit streetwear. Love it. Absolutely digging that lately. So definitely have a look at them because they're here. So yeah, they're a couple of companies that I would absolutely love to collab with eventually. Hopefully manifest them goals. Manifest that 2021. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there because that's um, most of the questions that like weren't repeated and too similar and things like that. Um, so... Have a lovely evening if you're watching this in the evening. Have a lovely rest of your day if you're watching this in the morning. I hope you're all well and have an amazing week. Bye.